They hijacked the language of the gospel to crush the gospel. That's exactly what they're doing. And it's hard to, know, it's hard to sort of see this when you're right in the middle of it. If you've ever had a friend who is married to an alcoholic and gets divorced and everyone comes up and is like, wow, your spouse was a raging drunk. And oftentimes the spouse is like, didn't really know. If you live with someone whose behavior is completely off the chain, sometimes you're not aware of it because you're too close to it. So let me just tell you from my perspective as a foreigner, a semi-foreigner with some Canadian blood in my veins, what I'm seeing. And here are the markers for the malice that undergirds these expressions of false compassion. We're just trying to help. Really, they're trying to help? How does it help you or your family when the government of British Columbia gives fentanyl to your children without your knowledge? That is literally happening right now. And it's been stopped by the premier here, who's not giving fentanyl to children. Amen, bravo. Hard to believe you even have to say that. But it is happening right down the road, right over the mountains in British Columbia. What is that? 